This door. This mystery door. This mysterious ass cryptic fucking door has been the biggest enigma of my childhood. Next to healthy mutualistic symbiotic relationships between people of course, I can't pinpoint what exactly made me so obsessed with this door. Maybe it was a rumor I heard from the other kids that some big ass epic secret was behind it. Maybe it was the fact that it kinda had a glowing handle. Or maybe it was a dream I had showing me the endless possibilities that could be behind it. Real talk, I actually did have many dreams about this door. One time it had a fully modeled Tornado 2, another time it was a little apartment for Tails, and it had all these like little knickknacks and items and it, it like really showed off Tails as a character. And then in one dream, there was just a pack of Oreos in there. I'm not even kidding. I spent so much of my time playing Sonic Adventure trying to figure out how to open it. I tried interacting with it with every character, including Tails himself, nothing. I tried collecting all the emblems and even completing all the missions in Sonic DX, nothing. I tried looking for hidden switches and secret levers, nothing. I would even spend hours trying to clip the camera through the walls to get even the slightest glimpse at whatever was behind the store. Nothing ever worked, so it became this crazy riddle in my brain that never got solved. Until now. I found a free camera mod for Sonic Adventure by Speeps. There is a wasp in here. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. god oh my fucking god. <laughs> Sasha, get out! I found a free camera mod for Sonic Adventure by Speeps Highway that is going to allow us to clip through the terrain and basically take the camera wherever we want to find secrets and new discoveries to our favorite game. Anyways, today is the day this mystery gets solved. Today is the day my biggest childhood conundrum reaches resolution. Today is the day of closure once and for all. Today is the day we finally see what's behind the secret door upstairs from Tails' workshop. It's nothing. No nothing's here. My whole childhood is a lie. I'm gonna go kill my- This was extremely disappointing. I know Boundary Break already showed this off in his video years ago, but this was actually a real heartbreaking discovery for me. Literally from 2001 when I first got Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast to August of 2016 when Boundary Break posted his off-camera secrets video, I genuinely held on to my curiosity of that door. It was always the biggest video game mystery to me, and I thought discovering what was behind it would be something extremely special. But I guess I am the one who put it up on a pedestal, so I suppose the disappointment is all on me. No it's not! Fuck you, Sega! You put a glowing handle on it! You put it above a door that does open and made the shit look all captivating and shit! Fuck you! You fucking ass backwards, lying, manipulative, abusive scumbag of a- Just joking. Just joking. It's all bad jokes, guys. It's all bad humor. It's terrible. Please don't hate on Sega or Sonic Team for putting absolutely nothing behind this alluring door. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more Sonic the Hedgehog content from us. We do have Sonic animations over on our second channel, Real Life Glitch Entertainment, along with other cool stuff there as well. If you guys like seeing the game deconstructed in this kind of way, I highly recommend checking out Speeps Highway as he really explores both Sonic Adventure games more in depth. Also check out Boundary Break who explores all sorts of out of bounds secrets in different games. Go show those guys some love and until then I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.